<laughs> it's time to heal some flagons, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time here with us today, hello. Hi, my name is Whitney. And today we are back in for the final part of the flagon challenge. Now, if you're watching this series for the first time with this video, I need to ask you to stop, ma'am. Hold on what you're doing. You need to go back and watch from the beginning because this is the last part and you're gonna spoil it for yourselves. So go back, watch from the beginning because we are about to end the flagon challenge. This has gone quite quickly and I have to say, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I have. It has definitely been a really, really fun thing on the channel. And I know a whole bunch of you guys have really enjoyed this series, even if it's just to watch me express my pure hatred towards mermaids. And if that doesn't make any sense to you, that means, again, this is your first time watching and you need to shimmy on back to the beginning, sir. So we are gonna jump straight in to the last day of the flagon challenge and a day of doom and sadness for all but one flagon and let's see who it's gonna be so we're jumping straight in we're gonna kill some flagons today lads um <laughs> but to to start with oh one of them is awake but two of them are asleep who are you and what are you doing oh you're being a mermaid disgusting behavior. Okay, so we are on mission, get the flagons to school. It is their last day and they need to make an impression and get some things going. You do not still need to be doing that, madam. You need to get up, brush those teethies, put that tail away. Why were you in? That's very strange. That was a strange choice. I'm not gonna lie. But there's things you need to do. You're feeling playful and I really, really don't care. Um, Go and, oh yeah why don't you resume some pancakes it's flagon's birthday celebrate by throwing a rocking birthday party it's definitely gonna be a birthday party to remember that's for sure oh you're going to high school man it is late you guys are gonna miss you're gonna miss your last day of school you're gonna miss your last day of life go yeah straight to school what a horrible birthday <laughs> What a horrible time. Except for this one, feeling fun. <laughs> Down she goes. Oh, you're crying? You're lonely? That is so sad. Well, it's a good job you're gonna be throwing a birthday party today, Sarah. You are gonna be having the time of your life, Hen. The absolute time of your life. We are gonna get all of these guys to, you know what? Let's have them study hard. They're gonna age up pretty much as soon as they get home. Hopefully they will not be exhausted this time because I'm not dealing with their shenanigans. It's just not happening. Sara, girl, you need to get up though. Um, Come and take a bath. Come and brush your teeth. Yeah, I know it's Flagon's birthday game. There's three of them. You don't need to tell me every single time. Um, It's time you get up though, Sara, because we've got some things to be doing and some birthday parties to be throwing. Oh, someone didn't finish their school project. That might come back back to haunt them. Oh dear. So the plan with this is obviously we've got this rocket ship that has not yet gone up to space. So I think the winner, as soon as it is announced, will jet off up to space and then the losers are gonna have a bit of a pity party while they're gone. And who knows what um, aftermath the winning flagon will return home to. Who knows what that site will be. <laughs> So to decide who the best flagon is for this challenge, we had to come up with a way of making it fair and basing it on numbers. Hold on a minute, I've been interrupted by a class presentation. Um, flagon has to present in front of the entire class. He has, oh, he, okay, so we vaguely know which one it is. So he has some great ideas for how to jazz up his presentation, even if they're not exactly what the teacher asked for. Should he go all out and make his presentation shine or just do what he's asked? If the flagon challenge has taught our flagons 
anything, that would be is that they got to stand out. So honey, he is going all out, balls to the walls. What was I saying? Yeah, so we had to make it fair. I wanted to have a way, oh my goodness, these guys, they need to stop. Bathroom cash. While taking a quick break, Flog and spies some money just sitting on the sink in the bathroom. Should she slide it in her locker for safekeeping or just turn it into the principal? Let's save it. Those fingers are sticky. <laughs> Yes, we're using a way to actually determine statistically which one is the best flagon based on numbers. So to do this, I have gone to the original flagon queen who brought this at least to my attention. I've gone to Lil Simsy's video. I've seen the way that she did it in that video and I'm using the same way. So we are doing a point system. So each grade in school gets a point, each character value gets a point, each skill gets a point, skills max gets a point, traits gets a point. We are going to add all of those things up to determine who the best flagon is. But these flagons have got to stop interrupting me first. So the group project again, Again, uh, yeah, let's try to contribute. These guys are really trying today, huh? And it's Harvest Fest tomorrow. Oh, someone's not gonna make it to Harvest Fest, guys. That is sad. <laughs> it's very sad. Celebrity level lost. Oh, traumatic. My God, these flagons need to relax. They're like, I've got a feeling that there's some impending doom. So I'm gonna ask my mother everything. Bathroom sandwich. We found flagon in the bathroom stool today. That is just wrong. No, no eating in the bathroom. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Girl, oh, there we go. Oh, nice, she redeemed it. I couldn't relate, I could never do that. Right in front of the window as well. If she made a mess out of that, she could have smashed the window. Anyone could have seen it, but she redeemed herself. I think she's looking forward to going back to a, a life of being a secret agent again. I think she might return to her spy days now that these kids are out of the way. I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame her. I'd want to be done with these days as well. She's been knitting her life away while living with these flagons, but she is soon going to be able to get back to her normal life. <laughs> her pre-flagon routines are going to be back to normal as soon as we get rid of two of them. <laughs> I'm trying to make three birthday cakes um, so we can have more than one obviously. So let's have two pink ones and then a Kanuka blue one. Um, I'm not sure, maybe you can't make a blue cake, but we can definitely make two pink ones for the two girls. I want them all to age up at exactly the same time. Um, <laughs> yeah, chaos is what it's gonna be. And we are going to throw a birthday party as well. Um, I don't know if the Flagons have got any friends, but I guess we could invite them and it would just be a traumatic experience for everybody. Victor died? When did Victor die? Victor, no, I was counting on you to come to the birthday party. That is so sad. Don Lothario, Don, what is your problem? <laughs> Why does Don always want to come over? You know what, we'll invite him to the birthday party. <laughs> Don, no, we've got kids to cater for. I honestly don't know how we know Don. I'm sad that Victor's gone though. That is, I wonder if Lily's still about. And then we need a third cake. What should the third cake be? We could do a chocolate cake. Is there a blue cake? Aha, there is a blue confetti cake. I thought there was. So we'll have two pink and one blue. We're gonna need somewhere where we can put them all. They have to be like dead set in the middle of a counter. Actually, we might be all right. One there, one here and one there. We might be okay. Right, there we go. And the third birthday cake is done. Let's add birthday candles to it so she does not in fact eat it because I'm not having that sort of drama in my life. It's just not happening. Why are you so sad? You need to chill. Are you sad because Victor's gone? Do you need to chat to someone? Do you need to talk to some... Why don't you... Why don't you talk to Don Lothario? Why don't you send him a text? Is this a conspiracy? I mean, Don Lothario has definitely been involved in some conspiracies with people disappearing in some um, alternate realities and parallel universes. <clears throat> Bella Goth, <clears throat> Don, we know you're somewhat involved, Don. So there has been a development. Don Lothario um, is here. <laughs> He's here and he's thinking about Sara. And Sara, I think you need to be concerned. He looks a bit strange. Is it because he's an adult? 
That shouldn't be a thing, because usually he's just a young adult, right? Like, he shouldn't look so different. I feel like he does. We should also invite over, um, Ukuku Akupanipo. Akupanipo. Let us invite over Akupanipo. Um, come on, Akupan. Come on over. It's your flagon's birthday. Yeah, he's gonna be right over, as you should. We're, we're gonna have a sweet party, Akapan. It makes me uncomfortable to think that Sara has a romantic relationship with this man. Are you just leaving straight away? Oh, that said great up. I didn't even read those notifications. Welcome home, Flagons. Stop it. Stop it. No. Okay, so does anyone need anything? Excuse my pausing. Does anyone need anything before we... Um, we do the thing. I, I, you're tired and I I actually don't really care. It's more like fun things. You need some fun so we can do some things to get you some fun. So all the flagons are going and doing some things just to bring them up so their fun is a little bit better. So they're not as like sad and, and gross. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, what is happening? Don Lothario and Akapano are, are, are fighting in my bathroom. What is what? What? <laughs> what? What is happening? Why are they? F and then they've just said hello. I'm so confused. Why is that what happened? Okay. All right. That's that's fun. Oh, you've actually gone for a nap. That's fine. Okay, let's throw a birthday party then. Okay, we are planning a birthday party. We don't want a house party. We want a birthday party. Yes, we do. So these are the birthday sims. So it's the Flagon's birthday. The guests will have one, two, three. Why not? It is party time. We'll do it at home. The Flagon residence is where it's at and it is happening right now it is party time everybody which means these flagons are they feeling better you are awake good job person um person why do i call you person i'm very confused about don lothario's purpose in all this um can you clean this up please because that is absolutely disgusting thank you you know what it'll do so i'm gonna need all of you to come and stand, actually, no, are you a female? You're a female. You need to come and stand in front of this cake. You need to come and stand in front of this cake and you need to come and stand in front of this cake. Come on, everybody. It's time where my flagons are. Come on, we're waiting on you, sir. No, come and stand here. Excuse me, why is this flagon acting up? No, this is a right pain. Go back to your cake. <gasps> What's happening? Why? Why are they fighting? Sara, no! Leave the mermaid man alone! Why do they keep fighting? I don't understand. And now they shake hands, but it's not neighborhood brawl. Don't cheer for the mermaid man. Ugh. Okay, right, okay. We've got the flagons in the correct places, which means it is time. Right, you need to blow out your candles. Oh, Lord. Look at them go. Same time, same time. Off they go. Okay, all right, let's randomize that. Let's randomize it, let's randomize it. Who's next? Oh, both the girls have gone first. There we go, there we go. There we go. Okay. The Flagons, everybody, they are aged up, which, have you got one as well? Oh, everyone had a fight or something. Okay, right. So it is time to look through their things and figure out who is the winning Flagon. So we're just gonna go down them in order and just let them do whatever they wanna do for a bit. And I am going to make a note of everybody's stuff in my notepad. It is time to get adding up. So let's have a look at their skills. Okay, so this Flagon aged up with a B grade in school, which means he starts off with three points. 
There we go. So this is Flagon 1. He starts off with three points. So let's add up all of his skills. Oh, Lord. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. So he's got 17 points worth of skills. Let's look at his traits. He's got a neutral reputation. Oh, and he got the responsible trait. So what we're doing is we're doing plus one point for good traits and minus a point for bad traits. So anything that gives him a moodlet that is difficult will be a bad trait. I was gonna give, he's the vegetarian culprit. I knew one of them was. I was gonna give him a minus a vegetarian just because I made a song and dance about it, but I won't because there's nothing wrong with being a vegetarian. So we won't do it. Oh, he's also got high metabolism. Is that a bonus trait? That is, isn't it? Interesting. So he gets um, plus, I guess they're all good traits. Oh, let's, we mark, let's mark erratic as a bad trait um, because technically that gives you negative moodlets sometimes. So he gets one, two, three, four for good points. So plus four, and then he gets a minus one for erratic. Okie dokie. And then the rest of the things we're gonna judge them on will be the one with the most skills, we'll get an extra point, and the one with the closest relationship to both the mum and the dad will each get their own point buff. So that is him so far. So all the flagons got a B in school. That means they're all starting out with three points because a B grade is worth three points to start with. Oh, okay. Oh, I think this one's doing better. Interesting. And their traits. Oh, this is one's got, I mean, it's a neutral reputation, so I'm not going to count it. If it said good reputation, I would count it because it says neutral, I'm just not going to. Oh, hates children and mean. That's minus two, but plus three. We're on the last one now, moving down to their traits. Neutral again, so I'm not going to plus or minus any points. And one, two, three, four, five good traits. That's good. So now we're gonna look at which Flagon had the best relationship with both mum and dad. So let's jump into their relationships. We're gonna go back to the first one and have a little look. And, oh, that's weird. She, this one has no relationship with Sara, it seems. They're acquaintances, but it seems they have no relationship. So I'm not quite gone on there. Whoa, she's full with Sara. That's mad. Okay, so this one, this middle one, definitely gets an extra point for being besties with Sara. And this one here has the best relationship with the dad. So she is gonna get an extra point for being besties with the dad. I know who won. <laughs> so actually it was very, very close. It wouldn't have been if one of them hadn't got so many negative traits and therefore had lots of minuses to come off. But basically the first flagon, this fella here, this guy, he got 24 points. Moving down the list, this one got 23 points. And then this one again also got 23 points. So step up, step up, flogger number one. You're the winner. Yeah, I saw that. Don't, don't go to sleep now. No, you just won. This isn't how to celebrate, Flagon. You need to go to space. It's exhausting being the best flagon, guys. What can I tell you? Come on, sir. Wakey, wakey. Time to go to space. I know. It's hard being the winning flagon, isn't it? Off he goes. He needs to wee, but he doesn't care. He's going to space. Off he goes. See you later, flagon. Absolutely nothing eventful here will happen while you're gone. Oh, he's back already. And no, 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 that was a glitch, right? You're too uncomfortable. I'm sorry, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I don't care what you think. Go to space. Let's try this again. <laughs> Take two, go to space. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, getting deja vu. <laughs> there he goes. Now he's off. And he's gone. And, oh, they're all having a great time. How long will it last? Oh dear, if you look at that, the weather's started to change. That's not good. Well, at least it's only a little bit of rain and nothing else can happen. Oh no! 
<laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you're doing whatever. Oh, dear. Who would have thought? A flagon has died on this day, man. Who would have thought? So, so, so sad. It seems that these sims just can't catch a break, hey? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Looks like she died of a coughing fit. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Oh, we love it when a game glitches like that. Fabulous. Oh, she's she's died in a in a fire. Look <laughs> at a fire. Wow, wow, that was that was dramatic. That was oh oh no, so sad. Who would have thought? Oh no, Don, did you did you enjoy the party? Oh oh, there's smoke everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> I do not kid you. I legit thought the other flag gonna died as well. Then for a minute, <laughs> I was like, "No, that's not meant to happen." Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah. You came home. At, there's been some stuff going on while you've been gone, mate. Yeah. Oh well. Well, at least you're still a mermaid, right? Oh, so sad. <laughs> Reward earned. Happy birthday. Shame about the party. <laughs> At least someone left a book as a present. It's in your household inventory. A book? Well, why not? And with that, that is the that's the flagon challenge, guys. It's over. It it finished in a rainy, explosive, electrifying end. <laughs> but we have our winner. And I have to say, I always knew that Flagon was going to win. It was very close though. Like very, very, very close. If that other girl hadn't got minus two for being both mean and hating children, then um, she would have stolen the cake quite literally. But alas, our only, our singular male Flagon won and the females, they just, they just could not compare. But at least there's two less mermaids to worry about in this household. Anyways, that's kind of it guys. That's kind of it. There's nothing else to do. We've got a, we've got a broken rocket in the garden and two gravestones in the front. And really that is exactly how I expected to sum up this series. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for following along and enjoying this series. Thank you for watching and interacting with it. There's been a bunch of people that have actually found me through this series. So welcome, hello. I'm glad to have you. I'm happy you stuck around for it. And I hope you continue to stay with us here on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video here on the channel. Um, comment down below, let me know how you found the series, what you enjoyed about it, what you liked, let me know. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye.